Okay, just a real quick shot here. I thought I, I'd uh, get you guys a different, um, so you can see more of the, tr the detail on the trucks that I did on this. This was the last episode, so you get a better uh, view of the trucks. Okay. All right, guys. I made some windows here. I made these with Tester's window, Windows Maker. Okay. And I'll show you how I did it. It's a pretty simple process. These are, this is mainly for, for windows that are about a quarter inch by a quarter inch. Okay. So, let's get started. Hey guys, this video is suggested by BNSF6951, Vinny Stastito. Anyhow, live streams, Fridays, 8 o'clock Eastern. Hey, and I'm going to put a link to his channel in, down in the description here. All right, back to it. All right, guys, here's the ATSF caboose. <clears throat> I uh, took my hobby knife and I kind of scraped in these. I want to do these windows right here. And I've taken my hobby knife, my exacto knife, and kind of cleaned things out the best I could. Um, this isn't a real important model. I've got another one that I'm working on, but uh, I may have it on layout. I don't know. But I'm going to do, I'm going to use Window Maker. This is Tester's Window Maker. It's part number 3515. Clear plastic cement and Window Maker, what some people call um, canopy glue. Okay. And. I've got some toothpicks here. I've got some of the canopy glue here in this little dish. What I did earlier, I didn't catch it on camera, but I did take a toothpick and I put a little bit of this canopy glue on it and I just went around these window frames and put some on there and I've kind of let it dry. I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Take the cap off. Okay. Now I've previously put a little bit in here. When you take this, you just kind of squeeze. Uh oh. I may have plugged that up. There. Okay. Okay, there we go. that okay now I'm gonna take my I've got some shotgun cleaning patches here and I got a spray bottle I'm gonna get this just a little wet okay now I might mess this up I got too much of there the first time Basically, you try to form a bubble in there, like that. And don't fret if that happens. I get a little bit on the toothpick.
All right. Okay, and you just let that dry. We're going to let that dry. Okay, guys. Here's the windows. I did them. And I did these on the other side. And I did them right there. Okay. Um, I took one of my little, my little cleaning patches here and I got some water on it. And I stuck it on the end of my skewer here and I kind of cleaned up. This model, the, the, um, this window maker, it's water, water, it, water will remove it. So I just got in there and kind of cleaned off the excess. Okay, so now, shake this up again. I'm going to try to put just a little dab. That's too much. That's not. Okay. Now you get air bubbles in there. Take your toothpick, pop them. Kind of blotted that a little bit. Okay. Now, now that I've put more on there, I don't want to, I want to leave this laying, sitting up like this. And I'm going to let this dry. The, the, uh, the first application here that I did, I let them dry for about an hour. It is about 65 or 66 degrees in here. The relative humidity is right at... 50, 53 or 54 percent it looks like so it's a little dry up here this sitting in a very well heated room that I'm in but there it is um, I'm going to come back to this in about an hour and uh, we're going to see how she looks all right All right, guys. So here it is. And they didn't come out too bad. Um, there is a, there is another thing that you could, another product you can make windows with like this. I was just looking it up. It's made by Microscale. It's called Micro Crystal Clear. I never used it, but I think I'm going to get some and try it. Maybe I'll compare the two and, and see how they work. Um, you know, if any of you guys have done this, you know, touch up, you know, uh, touch base here. You know, this is only like the second or third time I've messed with this. No, I didn't get too bad of results. And I want to thank Vinny, BNSF6951, for recommending that I do this video. 
there it is um next episode i will probably be i'm going to be doing some more because i've been kind of looking at the way i do this and uh, i'm going to try a little different way so you guys have a great night talk to you later bye